can to help Jagdish. And finally, today was a busy day for the organizers of next year's Commonwealth Games. Sports Minister M.S. Gill went on a venue inspection. Organizing Committee Vice Chairman Randhir Singh chatted with the media here in Delhi, while Chairman Suresh Kalmari did the same in London. Also in London are some of the 11 baton bearers for the Queen's Relay that gets underway on Thursday. Team India putting its best foot forward three days before the Queen's baton relay starts off from the Buckingham Palace. Sanya Mirza and Abhinav Bindra are amongst the 11 Indian baton bearers, a list that includes Milka Singh and Kapil Dev. With Mr. Kalmari providing the same reassurances as he has in the past, it was Sanya, who is also spending some time with her fiancé in England, who came up with the most honest assessment of India's preparedness for the Games. Event of such magnitude, you know, involved. There's always going to be issues and problems, but at the end of it, it all comes together. And I think in India, especially, everything comes together at the last minute very well. <laughs> so I'm sure it's going to happen. And um, you know, as an athlete, um, as long as the tennis court is there, I think I'm okay <laughs> to go on and play. Of course, Abhinav Bindra gets pride of place in the relay, since he is India's only individual gold medalist from the Olympics. He will be the first sports person to carry the baton, and that might mean meeting Queen Elizabeth. The second herself. I don't know actually if I'm going to be able to go meet her, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to the event. It's been always a childhood dream to meet the Queen, and uh, being so close to her would be enough for this lifetime, I guess. So I am really looking forward to the event. The President's arrival in the UK kickstarts the countdown to the Commonwealth Games. And despite Mr. Kalmadi's many assurances that all is well with the Games, infrastructure and security remain two key concerns in Commonwealth countries like the UK. In London, Spati Maheshwari, NDTV.